832-338-8566. Hit me up or hit me on Instagram, Twitter. Lil Zach the DJ, L-I-L-Z-A-C, the DJ. And the sections to your city, from your city to my city, from our city to everybody's city. Drink water, drink water, work out, work out, eat healthy, eat healthy, and shout, and shout. This is temporary, work harder, this is temporary, don't pout, this is temporary, think smarter, this is temporary. No doubt. Yeah. Hello, what's up, and welcome back to This Is Temporary, where you know everything is temporary, so guys, you know, just keep your head up, stay focused on what you need. Focus on and just know that it's gonna be okay eventually. We are in the month of February and this is the month of love. Yes. Look at my heart. It's Valentine's Day. You got you a Valentine? I don't. Black History Month? Yes. Like I've been doing my research to try to learn new black history figures and stuff like that because like everybody just knows like Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks and so I'd like to take this time to introduce my guest. I am so like, I feel fortunate. It's not that for you, but I feel fortunate to introduce my very special guest, Lil Zach the DJ. What's going down? What's going down? What's going down? Thank you so much for joining. This is temporary. So you like to call yourself the DJ, not the entrepreneur? Yeah, Lil Zach the DJ. Straight up, straight up. So what do you do whenever you have like a function that doesn't turn out like how you want it to turn out? When I don't have a function, you know, you gotta take some L's to get them done. That's true. So uh, I take it for what it is. Everything is a learning lesson. You know, I done had a couple of events while in college. I done had a couple of events um, that wasn't related to college events, but um, I mean, I just take take whatever I got from a certain, this particular situation and I just try to not do that again or take the good from the bad and you know vice versa stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So speaking of college, um I hear you're the voice of Sam Houston State University. The only voice of SHH. Yeah. So. I've never heard of another voice of SHH. The only yeah. How did you get that title? I became the voice of SHSU uh it was more of a self entitlement thing first and then I started um doing various events on campus. I started working with administrators, student organizations, student activities. I've been DJing for SHSU student activities for the past three and a half years. And the voice not only speaks for, this, for the student body, um, you know, for the people that don't, you know, go to SGA and stuff like that. I also, you know, try to speak for those who aren't involved, those who just go to class, work or just go to class and back home you know it's a lot of people that do that so, so. it's a lot of pressure it's, just, it's a lot of pressure but at the same time it comes with it you know yeah I understand, you know? well i'm gonna take this time to get into my question of the day and you already know that this is black history month black i ain't black you black i'm brown you brown you brown okay we'll call it i'm that. really brown so it's african-american history month so we don't have to say black the black is the color of his t-shirt. This brown is me, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is me. Yeah. So my question is, um, do you believe that your favorite black history figure is satisfied with how the world is today? Figure as in a person? Yeah, like your favorite black history figure. Who is that, by the way? WB Du Bois, just because um, that's who my organization. Um, is derived from you know his theories and his thoughts and stuff like that. So uh, yes, I do believe that he would be proud. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like you know WB the boys would be like, yeah, do you think the brother to keep rocking? Yeah. So we're gonna take this question to the streets and we're gonna see what they think about their historical figures and their favorites. To the streets we go. Bye. So who's your favorite historical figure? Malcolm X. I believe that he's proud of how society is today. No, he's not proud of how society is today. Due to the fact that we still have a little bit of dissonance between black women and black men as far as this regarding to each other by name. So such as bitch, hoe, etc. My favorite historical black figure would probably have to be Malcolm X. Mm, I feel like he is just a champion of black excellence and black liberation and wanting black people just to be so great and not taking anything from anybody and I feel like he would definitely not be impressed 
on how the world is going today. He probably want to start a war. So. My favorite black history figure would have to be Harriet Tubman because she wasn't selfish and because like she never gave up. Um, I don't believe she would be happy with the way society lives today because I feel like she would, like, I don't feel like African Americans are taking advantage of the opportunity that we have. Honestly, I have a good, it's like a group of them. It's all the inventors because of everything that we've, uh, everything we use today, you know, they're all based off of those kind of inventions. Those uh, the lights, uh, stoplight, the refrigerator, you know, a lot, of, a lot of things have helped us in these days. I believe as far as inventions go, yeah, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're definitely going good that route, but as far as our society, nah. So who is your favorite black historical figure? I would have to say Rosa Parks. Do you believe that she's happy with the world today? I would say half and half. No, my black history figure is not proud of the world. Who is your black fi black history figure? Martin Luther King Jr. So why do you feel like he's not proud? Because everything that he's done in order to make black people equal, I mean, he's made it's made some strides. It's definitely not like it used to be, but I guess in some ways history repeats itself, and it seems like instead of going forward, we may be going a little backwards. Uh, it would have to be Martin Luther King Jr. because. You know, he really promoted that we fight back, but not violently. You know, he he was all about peace and maintaining peace and not just going out, tearing up stuff, you know, having riots. You know, you're tearing up your own neighborhood and stuff, you know, and he wasn't for that, you know. Do you believe that he's happy with how the world is today? No, because people are going around, you know, just, just he was, he was for everybody. He was like, you know, Donald Trump, it's taking away the immigrants and all of that. You know, Martin Luther King wasn't too much about that. He was about everybody coming together as one, you know, uniting, you know, just, just, nah, because the world is not like that right now. We're more divided now than ever. So, nah, he's not happy. My favorite black historical figure, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Martin Luther King because he actually, you know, protested in peace, you know what I'm saying? He didn't really respond violently to any other things that was going on in his time. And do you believe that he would be proud of how society is today? I believe he would be, like, on the scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably say he'll be like a 7 or an 8, just because racism, you know, it's not dead. I don't believe it ever will be because it's home taught. But at the end of the day, he wanted everybody to co-mingle and mix together, and that's how it is today. So I think he'll be, you know, fairly okay with it. My favorite historical black figure would have to be Martin Luther King Jr. And um, I, I think he would be proud of most of the things happening today, but he would be pretty distraught with something that's happening. Like, you know, with the race riots and all the injustice happening with the police, so. So I see you have on your little Zach, the DJ t-shirt. Yeah, Do you right. have any other gear available? like? Yeah, I got some gear available. You get a shirt, you know, just hit me up for a shirt. 832-338-8566. We giving numbers right now. Yeah, okay. you know, the Mike Jones way. Yeah, that way. Yeah. <laughs> so is that what all the gear says? Little Zach, the DJ? Yeah, way? just brand of that. You know, we don't need nothing else. We don't need no extra dots, spots, or none of that. You know, we just need that, you know. Straight up. So get yeah. your your shirt. I got to get you one. Yeah. Yeah, I need one. How much are they? Five dollars. Five. For you, 50. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Five. Nah, you 50. Bitch. Doing all that you do and being a college student, how tough is it? Tough, man. I don't get no sleep. It's crazy. But I asked for this. But being a DJ, I also know that the money is not guaranteed. Like, you kind of have to yeah. have But that's business. what that's, that's where the business comes so in. How do you keep your business flowing? I keep my business going pretty good. I mean, I kind of pick and choose what I want now. Back um, when I was com still am coming up, but you know, I I kind of know like um, I rather I would rather take a gig at a school than a party because a gig at a school, you know, it's a school they established. They're gonna have a contract. They're gonna make you sign a W nine W four form or whatever. So you gonna get your money. They're gonna send you a check, but they're gonna already have a check when you get there. Versus with a party. It may rain that day. People that buy pre-sales, you ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I try to, you know what I'm saying, make the right decision. But it's all a learning process with anything in life. You know what I'm saying? You, you, would you rather work for a temp service or would you rather work for a company where you can sell? You know, you got to pick and choose because the temp service may say, oh, you got to go. You lose, you know. Mm -hmm. so
sure. Top off is the group. It's the film. It's the it's the everything. You know, top off T O P O F F. I almost forgot to spell that the right way. Top off entertainment consists of artists, DJs, poets, everything. You know, we got videographers, all of that. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, so are y'all still growing? Yeah, looking top for more off, people? Top off, well, we're not looking for a lot. You know, it's really family. You know, if you're yeah. family, you got to go. But um, it's really family. So top off entertainment. You know, we coming, taking over yeah, that way. Speak of that. You know, can you say that? Say speak of that. Speak it. Say speak of that. Speak of that. You ain't seen it right. Seen it right. Seen it right. So what does Spigadelic mean? I mean, that mean all the way legit hundo. Yeah. Hundo, like that. Ooh, it's it's all the way. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Thank you so much for joining. This is temporary. Yeah. And you yeah. already know. Drink water, drink water. Work out, work out. Eat healthy, eat healthy. And shout, and shout. This is temporary. Work harder. This is temporary. Don't pout. This is temporary. Think smarter. This is temporary. No doubt.